Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, just a quick update right now. I want to talk to you guys just kind of about my thoughts on being back at school. For you, those of you that don't know, I finished up my internship with the Toronto Raptors. Kind of got mixed feelings about it. Wish I was still there, and I probably could have been still there if I wanted to stay the whole year. I kind of did have that option they hinted to me, but for other reasons, like financially and other things, didn't really work out. I mean, if they offered me a full-time job, then hell yeah, I would just stay there and kind of not go back to school and just kind of say, screw my master's, but... I ended up coming back to school, uh, mainly with financially things, you know, my schooling's pretty much paid for because of my scholarships and also working as a GA and whatnot, I get paid some good money as well. But the thing is, it's, it's mixed feelings right now because the classes that I got to take, they're not really applicable to uh, strength and conditioning perspective. A lot of the courses that I'm taking, like the course that I'm taking, I'm taking two right now. I, went, I was going to think about taking three, my advisor told me three would be way too much because their graduate course is much tougher. So the two classes, more so physiology based. And the thing is though, is that when you look at maybe a strength and conditioning career field, it involves many uh, compasses of field. So that's like, you need psychology, you need physiology, biomechanics and everything to be a really good strength coach, just to understand all different aspects. But understanding these physiology courses, the thing is though, they're interesting, but there's a lot of theory. They're not really practical. So it's hard to apply. And the thing is, they're more based for a clinical perspective. So if you want to get into pharmaceuticals or something, understanding how different enzymes or different molecules kind of work and whatnot, and metabolism, which is interesting, but then again, it's very hard to apply. So that's why it's a little dry. It's a little tough to get through. But, you know, right now that I'm back at school, I'm just hoping to kind of get these courses done as quickly as possible. I need three more plus my thesis, and I'll basically complete my master's degree. So trying to get this as done as quickly as possible, hopefully maybe by the end of the year or early into next year that I get my degree done, I'm done my thesis, and I, I know I'll be done my coursework unless something comes up um, in terms of a, maybe a job opportunity next year. Never know. We'll just try to see where things take me. I'm just taking things day by day right now. So I just want to kind of provide you with that update. And also, I'm going to be doing probably a video on just a review of my overview of the Toronto Raptors internship, my strength and conditioning internship with them, and just my experience. I'll be doing a, another video on that shortly. Okay, guys, so stay tuned for that, and all the best, and I'll talk to you soon.